motherfucking sun shines. More fucking sunshines. Back on the trail, man. Shit. There's never enough sleep, man. Not these days. I literally slept for like 14 hours in my tent last night. Uh, and it still wasn't enough. Uh, I really should, should be in a fucking bed. Not on this goddamn trail right now. But here we are. Um, at least it's easy terrain. I want to say I got about five miles to benchmark trailhead and we can finally get into town and get a real fucking bed. Um, it's like 8 a.m. so I should be able to make it by 10 I would hope. Um, yesterday was scary shit when I fucking collapsed on the ground after hammering those stakes in. Uh, it's reminiscent of when I passed out on the PCT from heat exhaustion. It wasn't that. It's just my body's been stressed the fuck out the last couple of days from the sickness and the terrain and uh, long water carries and all that shit. It's a combined combination of everything, I'm sure. My body just said, I, I give up, that's it. Um, but we got some rest last night. I did wake up not wanting to die this morning. It was a little easier getting out of my tent. I mean, I obviously still feel like ass, but I think I got enough energy to push me this five miles or so to the trailhead, so. That's what we're going to fucking do, man. We'll take it nice and slow, and we'll get there. Let's get on down this fucking trail, man. It's going to be a great fucking day. today um got to the trailhead those other hikers had already been there they're early birds man i just sleep the fuck in but uh <clears throat> frank who uh picked us all up local boy lives here in augusta his wife actually uh is a waitress at the restaurant here at the wagons west hotel and restaurant awesome people amazing small town usa i absolutely love this kind of vibe town everybody's extremely friendly frank had a lot of information about the local area wildlife and everything so much appreciated. He'll probably give us a lift back to the trail tomorrow. If I go back to the trail tomorrow, I have to listen to my body on this one. Obviously, I'm not 100%. I'm more like 50% at this point. But hopefully, uh, I'll, I'll go to the grocery store and see if they got some Pedialyte and some medication. And just rest up today and uh, take my time getting up tomorrow. We'll see how I feel in the morning. If I have to zero, I have to zero. But Frank's going to um, offer us a ride back to the trail whenever. It's a 30 mile ride, ride, so he's definitely helping us out. But anywho, did go to the post office and uh, got my last resupply to give me East Glacier, which is 135 miles. It's going to be a long fucking stretch. It's, it's just shitty timing. We're going through some of the toughest terrain on the trail since Colorado, and my body just decided to shut down right for this. And it's going to be like a six day stretch um, in the middle of fucking nowhere, Bob Marshall Wilderness, to where. My only out is my SOS button, so I'm going to have to listen to my body on this and, and carry more than enough food and, and do low mileage if I have to, because 
I have no choice but to get the East Glacier. There's no, there's no outs um, <laughs> other than getting, like I said, hitting the SOS button. But anyway, this is from Clifton. Uh, he's one of my patrons. Uh, um, so he hooked me up with this resupply. It's a heavy one. And I'll probably need most of this food. But <clears throat> let's open it up and see what he sent me. said I would not be disappointed, so here we go. Holy shit. I can already tell this is an expensive box for the uh, Alpine Airs up the ass. How many does he have in here? Holy shit. One, two, three, four, five Alpine Airs, a peak refuel. I absolutely love these. These are probably my favorite backpack and dehydrated meals. Uh, Mount House. Sockeye salmon, probably not the smartest thing to carry with Bob Marshall Wilderness because that's where they stick all the problem grizzlies from Glacier National Park. I probably won't haul this to be honest with you. I don't want that smell in the air. Um, but maybe I'll eat it here in town today. Um, ch chocolate cheat cake, this is up amazing. Cliff bars, uh, smoked almonds, bear darn tough socks. Honey buns, uh, what else is that in here? Starbucks, protein cookies, uh, Cheez Its, I mean, it goes on and on. Some Gingy socks, a wall of toilet paper. This hotel will be thankful I don't steal theirs. <laughs> uh, more Cliff Bars, uh, what is this? Aged white cheddar, creamy cheese, uh, a toothbrush. Toothpaste, Nutella, summer sausage, Neo, Sour Patch Kids, the list goes on and on. Clifton, you hooked this thing up, man. Much appreciated. I'll probably end up having to take most of this food. Uh, 135 miles on a good body is probably six days for me. I want to plan on like at least seven days to take me because uh, I can't push my body under the stress level I have been the last couple of days, especially, or else I'm going to pass the fuck out again. That was scary shit when I collapsed on the ground last night, um, and nobody was fucking around. I was on my own last night, so um, i got to definitely listen to my body if I want to finish this fucking trail. Uh, I've said it time and time again, no trail is worth my life, but when you're this fucking close to the end, you tend to push the envelope, and that's what I'm going to try to do. I'm about 230 miles to the border, so... We're going to try to make it, man. All right, well, I'm going to rest up, shower up, go to the grocery store and get plenty of fluids and some medicine and uh, lay my ass in this bed and sleep most of the day. I'll probably take you with me when we go out to dinner tonight um, and get some more calories in me. All right, fuckers, we'll check back with you later. I'm not 100 percent yet. Uh, I just went and had pizza at the uh, Lazy. It was a Lazy B. Not the greatest pizza in the world, but it was all right. Um, just trying to keep some calories in my body. Well, I uh, went to the general store and uh, I picked up a shit ton of fluids and some Dayquil and Nyquil. I've already down two bottles of Pedialyte and I've got a bunch of juice and Gatorade left back in my hotel. So. Um, I've decided at least to, to take tomorrow off. I've had an overwhelming amount of people since I put an Instagram post out, uh, letting people know how I, my situation is now. And I had a bunch of people step up and offer, you know, town food, money, and hotel stays, and doctors uh, rides, and all kinds of shit. It almost brought a fucking tear to my eye, to be honest with you. The overwhelming amount of support you guys show me is fucking insane. Um, so tomorrow we're gonna just lay in bed all fucking day. And uh, keep the fluids coming, keep the day quill, night quill coming, and uh, we'll reevaluate tomorrow, see how my body's pushing. 
uh, I'm gonna be able to push. It's one thing being sick in town. It's another thing when you have 30 pounds of gear in your back and you're hauling that shit up mountains. It's a whole different story and that's where my body gave up. Um, so you just never know till you're out there, but I want to take all the precautions necessary and rest up here as much as I possibly can so that I can reach the fucking border. That's the dealio. Thank y'all for the continued support. I'm going to do my best to get back on trail and uh, make a final push of this thing. Well, how about you fuckers when we're back on trail, mom? Oh,